Hello everyone and welcome to your channel TechWine. In this video, I will provide you the solution for this lab. Start the lab. Ok, now log in to the cloud console. In the console, open the cloud shell. Now go to the description of this video, you will find a link of the code file and from this file copy all these commands then simply run them in the cloud shell, click authorize. Now go back to the lab and move to the second task. Now you can check the progress. Again go back to the code file, now copy these commands. Simply run them in the cloud shell. Once you see these type of numeric values, you have to simply preview your application on the port 8080. Your application will look like this. Again go back to the cloud shell. Simply press Ctrl plus C. Again go back to the code file. Now copy this file name and in the cloud console you have to open the editor, click on this button then click on this icon just wait for few seconds and you will see this option open in a new tab now move to the first tab and click on open terminal reconnect again go back to the editor click on file then open now make sure this student is selected click on open just wait for a couple of seconds then open this folder right click on it click new file paste your copied file name then click ok now simply go back to the lab and if you will move to the task 4 you will find this code copy it paste it in this file again go back to the lab scroll down a bit then copy this project id and on the line number 16 carefully remove this then paste your project id now save the changes again go back to the code file and we are done with this now copy all these commands then run them in the cloud shell ok now again go back to the lab and let's see if we have any progress to check Check your progress. Scroll down. Now we have to make some changes in this env file. Go back to the editor and open this react.app. Then click on view. Toggle the hidden files and you will see this env file. Open it. Now we will replace this local host. So go back to the cloud shell and carefully copy this external IP. Let me zoom in a bit. Carefully remove this local host and paste your IP. Repeat the process for this line also. And now save the changes. Again go back to the code file then copy all these commands from the line number 54 to line 71 then run them in the cloud shell just wait for a couple of seconds ok now the command is executed again go back to the lab and you have to check the progress for this task move to the code file and copy the commands from the line number 76 
अप टू द लाइन नंबर वन ट्वेंटी सेवन और वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स देन रन दम इन द क्लाउड सेल After two to three minutes, you will ask for reconfirmation. Type Y, then hit Enter. Again, you have to wait for couple of seconds. Once the commands are executed, you can simply go back to the lab and check the progress for the fifth task. And make sure to check the progress first, then proceed with the lab. Now go back to the code file. and copy the commands from the line number 132 to the line number 178 just copy them and run them in the cloud shell okay now go back to the lab and in the task 6 check this progress then scroll down and copy this command go back to the editor file and make sure you are still in this .env press enter paste the command go back to the terminal and copy this ip then we have to simply replace this ip Make sure you are following the steps carefully. Now save the file. Now go back to the code file and we are done with this also. Now simply copy these commands and run them in the cloud shell. Just wait for a couple of seconds. and if you see this type of message now what you have to do press control plus c and it will terminate the commands go back to the lab and we are done with all of this now check your progress scroll down we have completed this step also okay on to the seventh task go back to the code file and copy the commands from the line number 204 to the line number 228 simply run them in the cloud shell now if you are able to see this type of name simply press control plus c and go back to the lab then check the progress we are done up to this point again go back to the code file copy these commands then simply run them in the cloud shell again you have to wait for some time okay now the commands are executed you can simply go back to the lab and check the progress for all the remaining tasks If this video solution was helpful to you please consider subscribing it really helps me a lot and before ending the lab please recheck if you have marked all the checkpoints if not please mark them otherwise the lab will not be completed so we have marked all the checkpoints now you can simply end the lab and please guys consider subscribing see you all in the next video till then stay safe stay healthy Thank <laughs> you.